Hey welcome back to the channel, it is OG Tech here. And in today's video, we are going to be optimize the Steam client. This will instantly reduces your memory, CPU, and disk usage. Especially, this might reduce stutters and boost FPS in Steam games. And make sure to stick with the video until the end. So let's get into the video. First of all, we talk about why Steam uses so much of your RAM. Basically, Steam does so many things besides gaming. This is also a social platform, where you can chat with friends and share your games. And the main components in Steam are the download manager and games list. Therefore, the Steam Client Web Helper is used by most of these features. So this Steam Client Web Helper is a built-in internet browser used by Steam. This client needs to launch multiple processes in the background to display the Steam Store, Game Library, and the Community tab. However, a lot of users find that the Steam Web Helper client heats up CPU and memory resources, which interferes with their gaming experience very badly. So let's see what we can do. First, open up your Steam and go to Settings. And navigate to the In-Game section. Uncheck all of the boxes that are checked. After that, go to the Interface section. Again, Uncheck the same settings that I'm going to do. Once you've done that, head to the library section and check the low bandwidth mode as well as low performance mode. And then navigate to the download section and uncheck throttle downloads while streaming. Also, I suggest you to clear the download cache as well. After that, go to the music section and turn off high quality audio files, voice chatting, and display a notification. Once you've done that, head to the Remote Play section. Now uncheck the Enable Remote Play and change the client option to Fast. After that, navigate to the Controller section. If you don't use a controller to play games, turn off all the options. Next one of the most important section is Shader Pre-Caching. So, personally I like this to keep disabled. However, Steam says that enabling this can help you stabilize your FPS in Vulkan and OpenGL. But, this will increase your disk and bandwidth usage. So it's all on you, you can disable it if you want. Once you all done that, click on OK. And make sure to restart Steam. Before we jump into the next optimization, there is one more thing to do in Steam. In the right hand corner, click on this plus icon. And click on the setting icon in the top right corner and turn off animated avatars and animated frames. Now, download my Steam pack from the description and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR. Then go into the file and open the Steam batch file command document. In here, you can see there is two commands, which is mini and ultimate. The first command only cuts down several processes and the second one is the most powerful command which you will not be able to view friends, visit the store, or take screenshots. But you'll be able to run any Steam games. So the first command can get invitations from friends. And the second command is unable to get invitations from friends. So if you play games with friends, I suggest you to use the mini command. So let's see how to use the mini command. Simply copy the command and press Windows plus R together. This will open up the Windows Run dialog. After that, paste the command that we copied earlier, and click on OK. After a few seconds, you will see Steam like this. This only cuts down several instances of the Steam Web Helper. So when we see the usage of this version, you can see that there is slightly less memory than in the normal Steam version. Next up is the most powerful command, which will remove every Web Helper processors. We are going to create a batch file using this command. For that, copy the command and open a new notepad. Now paste that copied command in here. After that, we need to save this as a batch file in the Steam file location. For that, minimize the notepad. Right click on the Steam icon and go to the file location and copy the location path. After that, go to our notepad that we paste the command earlier. Go to the file in the top left and click on save as. Then paste the steam location path in here and press enter. Now we need to rename this notepad file to steam.bat. Make sure you're typing it correctly. Otherwise this won't turn into a batch file. Once you're done, click save. And you can close this notepad document. 
Now go to the Steam file location and find the batch file that we saved. This should look like this, with the type saying Windows batch file. Once you find the Steam batch file, right click on it and send it to the desktop. After that, you can rename it to whatever you like. So I'm going to rename it to Steam Lite. Once you've done that, right click on it and go to properties and click on change icon. Click OK. And then click on browse. And make sure you're in the Steam file location. Then scroll down and select the Steam application and click on open. After that, click on OK. Click apply and click OK before launching the batch file Steam. Make sure that normal Steam is fully closed and then open this batch file. This version of Steam is extremely bare bones. As I said before, you can only play games with this version, so you cannot team up with friends. Now let's see how much memory this uses. As you can see, this only takes up 14 megabytes and 1% of the CPU, which is really good for low-end PCs. Furthermore, in the document, I have mentioned some additional commands with descriptions that you can add to the ultimate command. If you want to add a command, simply copy one and paste it here with both sides leaving a space, just like this. Also, if you want to know what these ultimate commands do, I have mentioned it in a different text document. You can check it there. Next up, we are going to download a software called Steam Cleaner. This utility allows you to clear up disk space by deleting useless data from various game clients. Every time you install or play a game, it will save runtimes and other unnecessary data on your PC. So if you have a lot of games, this can quickly take up your disk space. With the help of this tool, we can clear up gigabytes of unnecessary files in few seconds. So go to this video description and you will find the link to this website. Once you get here, scroll down and you will see a link for the latest build. So click on that and click on the steamcleaner.x file. This will directly download the software. After it is installed, open the Steam Cleaner and it should look like this. As you can see my status, I have over 480 files of junk, which total 640 megabytes. All of these junk files belong not only to Steam. These files belongs to the other game clients as well. So if you have more game clients, this tool will automatically detect the useless files. Also, you can check what files are deleting in redistributables. So what you need to do is, simply click on the spin icon, and click confirm to delete all of these files. This tool will delete those files within a second. And that's it. If you like you can restart your PC to keep things nice and fresh.